So in a typical Japanese lesson, they give the problem, one problem, and all the kids work on the same problem. It might be two or three, four minutes, the answer starts popping out. They spend another 15 minutes on that same problem after the answer. In this country, as soon as we get to the answer, we're done on to another problem. So they'll do one to three problems per lesson. We'll do 20. They'll do three problems for homework. We'll do 20. They're spending a lot more time per problem than we are. What are they doing after the answer? They're learning mathematics. We're skipping that part. We're learning how to get the answer. So I want you to, I'm going to give you a quiz. Why do we give problems to kids anyway in math class? What's the point? <laughs> Most kids or parents think it's B or C. We know it's D because we know how to take multiple choice tests. <laughs> but when you actually look in American classrooms, even good teachers, it's as though it was A. You hear that ch ch, -ch sound. What'd you get? How'd you get it? You see teachers explaining how to get the answer. Or if even the kids are working in groups, comparing different ways of getting the answer. It's all about the answer. How can I teach my kids to get the right answer? That's how I think when I prepare the lesson. And that's what I'm thinking during the lesson. Japanese teacher, how can I use this problem to teach the mathematics of this unit? Different question and it has a different answer. In America, kids are all different. If I try to teach them some math they don't already know, some of them will learn it. Some of them will be kind of learning it. They'll be in the middle of learning it, but still a little confused and uncertain. Some will get confused and quit trying to learn it. Some are used to being confused and won't even try to learn it. And then, I'll take that group of students and show them how to use this math I just tried to teach them to solve this new kind of problem. This sounds like a classroom management nightmare. I got a better idea. I'll show them how to get the right answer without having to learn any more mathematics. They can use the math they already know, plus a little trick for getting the answer. We make that choice every day. Our books celebrate that choice. Our books are full of answer-getting techniques. I'll show you an example. I've been using this example. Sometimes, if you've seen videos, I feel like a singer from the 80s, singing in Las Vegas, and they make me sing my hit from the 80s. All of the butterfly method for adding fractions with unlike denominators. So it works like this. You draw the wings. We're going to multiply on the wings, but first we put a plus sign up there to remind us on the antenna, and then we put a multiplication sign on the tail. Now we're ready. So we multiply four times one on that wing. It's four, and I write it down. I multiply three times three on this wing. It's nine, I write it down. The plus sign reminds me. Nine plus four is 13, I put it in the head. I go down to the tail, I see the multiplication. Four times three is 12, I put it in the tail. Answer, 13 twelfths. There are lots of versions of this, not necessarily called the butterfly method. Works every time, all chapter long. Takes one lesson to teach. Kid can remember it. But what the heck does this have to do with mathematics? This is not mathematics. This is answer getting. When we teach this to kids, we're teaching them this Within a year of teaching them to invert and multiply, to set up a proportion and cross multiply, they all look like this. We teach you all within a year. So two years later, when they're in algebra, what's going to be in their heads? It's going to be a lot of, it's not the foundation for algebra. It's not the reason adding fractions is in the curriculum. When we make this choice, and we do it because we care about the kids. We want them to get the answer right. When we make this choice, 
we're building a bad foundation for algebra. We're building a foundation for misconceptions. We're building a foundation for kids to ask, why are we learning this? What they really mean when they say that is, it doesn't make sense. I'm not really learning anything. Why are we doing this? <laughs>